millennials. We've got champagne taste on a beer budget, but take it from someone who works with a lot of first time home buyers. With some creativity and some tips and tricks from me, Chelsea, we can make your Pinterest dreams come to life. You're officially watching First Time Home Buyers and DIYers. Hey everyone, we are in Hammond's Plains and you're about to meet two people who are a huge part of my business. Hey guys, I'm here at the mortgage manager's office with James Shinners. Hey, thanks for coming in. And he works closely with his wife, Margaret Shinners. If you come and do a mortgage check-in with James and Margaret, they work similar to me in the aspect of helping you along the way. If there's glitches, they're gonna check in with you, make sure you're doing the right things to eventually get approved, even if you're not right away. And our services are free. <laughs> there you go, so <laughs> am I beforehand. So, with that being said, let's go over um, some of the things that you take into consideration for a mortgage qualification when you do have somebody come in here. Sure, yeah. Well, as you were saying, you know, part of our uh, long-term objective for our clients is, you know, if they qualify right away, then great. But if they don't, mm -hmm. then we help them build a bit of a plan to, to get there. But usually when we meet with the clients, we get them to bring in their uh, last couple of pay stubs and uh, Revenue Canada Notice of Assessments. And that really helps us get a clear picture of their income situation and, you know, how much do you make? Oh, I make 70000 you know. And I put it in a mortgage calculator <laughs> so I know what I'm right, pre yeah. for. They pull up their credit report and we go over that together. When they leave here, they'll have a pretty good understanding of what's doable and what's, what's not sort of thing. For them specifically. Right, yeah. So one of the things that I notice a lot is that uh, it really is case by case scenario. There are a lot of Absolutely. different mortgage rules that come out every single month, so to stay current is very important. Mm -hmm. Same thing with different ways that you can save your down payment. So the most important thing is to do a mortgage check-in to see um, you as an individual where you actually stand. So I want to thank you so much today for talking to me. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Yeah, awesome. And now we're going to go check out a DIY. And now we're at my house for our first DIY, which is creating a cozy deck space. For me, step one was to make sure that I had some shade as well as some sun. So we went with a pergola. Step two, a nice area rug. Step three is cute furniture, but keep in mind your budget because you don't need to go overboard. There's so many different ways you can set up a space with what you have to work with. Step four is greenery. But apparently you should ask somebody else when it comes to plants because my mother-in-law, who is amazing with gardening, has informed me that this is actually an indoor plant. But guess what guys, it's not dead yet. I'm using it and I swear I'll do better next year. Step five. This is one of the most important steps because Decor is kind of like jewelry. If you're going to spend all the time picking out a cute outfit, you have to finish it off somehow. Well, that's the same with decorating spaces, in my opinion. So, you can add things to your coffee table. Definitely use some pillows and a throw. And, if you don't have it, make it. I did a little DIY over here with the canvas artwork. So what I did was actually go onto canva.com, designed it, and printed it on Vistaprint. There's a separate blog you can check out if you want the step-by-step -step instructions. So you can see what I did and make one for yourself. And if you're looking to lengthen your patio season like we were, you can invest in one of these propane heaters for your deck. So this here is my finished product, but the most important thing is to have fun with it and make it your own space. 